Hey guys, this is a quick addendum to the Arteryx footwear review that we did on ITSTactical.com. Um, I just wanted to quickly show the usage for the second eyelet as a heel lock. So real quick, when you're lacing these up, um, you can see here I've got this already laced, but I'm going to show what you'll do is when you're looking at the shoe, you've got that second eyelet. You're just going to take the lace on the same side and put it back through. So you're going to create a loop. So it's that fixed loop on both sides here. And then what you're going to do is thread the opposite side lace through there on both sides. So I'm going to move to the actual shoe that I have real quick to finish demonstrating that. So you can see on this, I've already got the loops created. So there's my loops right there. I'm going to take that opposite side shoelace and feed it through each side. And what that's going to do is I tighten, it's going to create almost like a pulley system to bring my heel to the back of the shoe. So it's going to pull my heel forward, it's sometimes referred to as a heel lock or a lace lock, um, but there, that's what it is right there. So as you're doing that, it can help uh, like on downhills, it can help with blister management, but anyway, it's going to prevent the heel from actually slipping. So you can try lacing the regular way and then try lacing with this heel lock and you can probably feel the difference. I know I can um, when you lace with this method. Um, I was actually taught this a few years back with climbing shoes. This is something I've always used with uh, my climbing shoes on, on rock when I'm climbing. Uh, you can put this lace lock or heel lock into the climbing shoes and it helps just make sure the shoes tightened on your foot. So if you haven't seen the review on ITSTactical.com yet, make sure you check it out on the new Arteryx footwear. And this is how to do a heel lock.